Hello everyone and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 where we are uh, doing fun stuff. Um, and that fun stuff consists of we just won a holy war against the Fatimids at the right time. Thanks be to God. And uh, we are now... We've got all the administrative stuff set up, which is a good thing. And news from China. Wait a minute. Hold on. I feel like I need to read this. Because this is the. Okay, I guess now because we have a Silk Road province, we're getting updates on this. So, news from China. Emperor something, blah, 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 known for his open policy, has died. And the new emperor now sits on the dragon throne. I want a dragon throne. That's not fair. It's said that he especially appreciates Hindus but despises Muslims. Glad to hear it. Unlike his predecessor, the new emperor is known to favor the idea of an isolationist China. Oh boy. So I'm sure that means that the Silk Road is closed. Of course, we just gain a Silk Road policy and then it does that. That's stellar. Um, the Mongols basically flamed out, which is awful. But we may not need the Mongols. Because I definitely believe... Well, we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that we hurt the Caliph. The old Caliph. He's vulnerable again, by the way. Oh, he's very vulnerable. I mean, he's making <laughs> money, but that hurt him. And, uh... If he has a couple of large revolts that pop up, that could be bad news. Also could be bad news is that if this wife of mine doesn't pop out a kid here pretty soon... I'm going to have to get another wife. I mean, we're trying to groom an heir, which is fertility increased by 20%. We took the family focus, which is fertility plus 25%, which her homosexual status is minus 15%, and she's chaste, which is minus 15 So we should be counteracting that. I just don't know if she's going to have a kid. She doesn't like men. It's rather problematic. And I need to check that. Okay, so the epidemic. Oh, wow. It's slow fever spread to your court. That's not good. That is really not good. Yeesh. Making more money because of that. Alright, so we got all this stuff that. We gotta wait some time because it's recently conquered for it to kick in. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, he is really weak. Golly. Alright, let's take a look at you. If we could. Golly, if we could knock out that next, that'd be another four. And then that basically puts us on the doorsteps to take Cairo. That would be big. <laughs> huge be huge bro it would be it would be big no guarantee that that happens but it'd be nice and the rest of the world uh, Scotland's a bit of a mess England seems to be doing rather well Sweden having a good game Holy Roman Empire looks very Holy Roman Poland is still just wicked nasty borders some of the worst I've seen to tell you the truth Trebizond broke away from the Byzantine Empire looking rather nice Tibet eh, they got a revolt on their hands India still looks actually India looks almost very similar to what it looks like when you, if you were to convert to EU4 
that slow fever. Yeah, you gotta shut the gates, bro. It's already it, slow fever. Is it is in? Ask him. It's not looking good. What has this done for our red new cap? We could add another. I don't want to add those though. Golly, what is that? I'd love to add some cavalry, but we can't do that. We need another two hundred red new cap. I'm opening the gates. I can't. I actually can't handle closing them. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, just old tech from Cairo. Do what now? Just old tech from Cairo. That's good. This is very good. All right, so defending against. So you want the sheikdom? Okay. Yeah, that is. Uh... I want expenses that. Let's see. Oh, people just die left and right. Yeah, man, you weren't lying about Nubia not being a great territory. It's so bad it killed that guy. <laughs> Josh, very proph prophetically, I'm just going to independently give some Nubia to someone because it's a crap hole. And what do you know? So the question becomes, you have a truce that lasts until 1237 with the Fatimids. You know, Byzantines, if you were ever hungry for territory. I, I'm saying, so they've never taken Pisa back. We just took a chunk back and he's weak. He, he can't mount very good defenses against anybody. No, I mean, that's not, you know, that that's what I'm saying. I think, if, you know, if the Byzantines were smart, they'd go, I, I mean, they'd go after him right now. They could take whatever they wanted to. Uh, we just stole tech from Cairo. This is even better. And now we can take, ooh, yeah. That's, that's what we want to do. Take that castle infrastructure. Oh. Dude, another guy just died from doing it. I literally just put in someone else and they insta died. <laughs> that's. That's. Oh no, my son has high fever. That's a little discouraging. Alright, so we did that. Uh, Castle Town, yes, please. We'll spend a little bit of money to do that. I'm running out of court courtiers to give Nubia to. Um, I'm gonna give my bastard uncle. <laughs> Is that Uncle Willie? Uh, Willie's in. Uh, he's a he's in uh, Dot Dotawo. Oh, so your uncle is my cousin. Oh, he wants to get married. I wonder if I can arrange a marriage. Uh, this person is... Let's get you a good wife. Oh, my wife survived the uh, slow fever. That is good. Right, why don't you marry my sister? Why don't you want to do this? Wait, is he married now? Oh, he's already married. Oh, he married one of my kinswomen. Gosh, she is ugly as sin. Her face is like a box. Dear Lord. We're a good looking family. Well, your uncle 
also they known do. as my cousin, Mark. is going to ruin that immediately. Take a look at his wife. Hold on. God, she's got some manly features. Big time manly features. So you're now defending against... You're going after Iraq, really? Is that wise? You have like 418 levy. That makes no sense. That's suicide. I mean, more power to him, but... I don't really understand that one. Dude, my son survived the fever. You know, I'm happy to hear that. Um, my wife, if you were curious, still has yet to produce a kid. <sighs> Golly, I feel like I need to divorce her. Tell you what I need to do. I need to marry my sister off, though. That's for sure. You want to marry a rabbi? Well, let's do that. Let's marry you off to a rabbi, sister. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, she's married now. Get her out of court. Huh. So we're 29, wife is 26, has not produced. I control the entire, what would be the empire proper of, of Abyssinian. Ooh, divorcing her is not a good choice. Oh, God bless America. Can we take a new focus? Ugh, golly bomb. That's just we have a great. News from China. against the Queen of Trebizond. Oh, God. Well, the Queen of Trebizond is now a part of the protectorate. We got a Shia uprising. Yay! Yay, Shia Uprising. It's everything I could have ever wanted. Hmm. You know, I was worried about Genghis Khan, but the more I look at it, that Western Protectorate, my golly, they're already on the Black Sea? I mean, that's crazy.
mean, if they somehow who are you? okay let's figure this out wow Tibet what's going on with y'all Sad. Expensive court position, holy crap. 115 gold? That is very expensive. Oh yeah. That's cool. Listen here, wife. I get you like the women. And I get that you're chased, but you need to pop out a kid. So who's your heir right now? Uh my heir is actually my kinsman. I mean, would it be terrible if he to be completely honest, um, not no, not necessarily. He's actually got some decent kids. I mean, if this guy dies, yeah, it's not the end of the world. Uh, although if he dies, it's going to get real interesting. Actually, it it really isn't the end of the world because it's. Technically, like one of my distant cousins, who's also my friend and spy master, who I think would become, yeah, he becomes his heir. Uh, yeah, it really wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, to be completely honest. The whole line of succession is actually not really terribly bad because out of the three people that I can vote for right now, um, two out of the three are actually in my dynasty, so, eh, you know, it's, it's not something that would be just the worst thing in the world. Now, naturally, I would prefer not to have to cross that bridge, but, you know, that is what it is. No, we don't want to do that. What about you? Yeah, we do want to do that. Let's go ahead and sink all that money. Get those keeps upgraded. Continue to add to our army size. I mean, and, you know... Oh, I just gained the uh, chaste trait. Chaste is just a lovely trait. Especially when paired with the homosexual trait. This character is a bit queer. Dot, dot, dot. Wah, wah. Though uh, I don't necessarily need any more kids. I guess one more son wouldn't be terrible. I one son would be fine for me. Feel kind of bad for my ruler. If I have to produce a bastard, though, I will. All right, let's take a look at the factions. Nothing that scares me, and your factions are relatively weak. Ooh, I can go to elective monarchy. Although I'm not sure. I... <laughs> uh. 
Oh man. Okay. I'm going to be the elected monarchy. Alright, so... Sad day. Spymaster Dodd. That is not good. Alright, Master of the Hunt. You'll get that title. Commander, you'll get that title. And... My brother-in-law. Uh oh. Okay, that's good. Uh, that's good to know. Woo! Tech-wise, ooh, can I take another mark of legalism? Yep. is good that's real good okay we definitely wanted to take that all right guys well we're at 22 minutes we're gonna go ahead and cut this bad boy up as always I hope you enjoyed it I know that we did if you enjoyed it I'd greatly appreciate it appreciate it if you hit that like button and if you want to get updates hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications we'll catch y'all in the next episode be good